Hello. Well, we had some nice rain last night and this morning, and our weather is so nice today. We have a bit of a breeze, but otherwise it's beautiful. Even the breeze feels good. So I hope you're having a good day today. I wanted to take a few minutes and read you a book. So the book I'm going to read is called Mr. Little's Noisy Plane by Richard Fowler. It's a cute one. Okay, let's get started. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Mr. Little was getting ready to fly his plane in the local air show when he heard a tapping noise coming from inside. I wonder what that can be, said Mr. Little, lifting the engine cowling. Okay, let's lift it, see what's under here. Boy, it's hot in here, squeaked a mouse. <laughs> oh dear, they're not supposed to have a mouse inside the plane, is there? are there? No, let's see, different parts for the plane there, all labeled, yeah. A ripping and tearing sound came from under the right hand wing. Oh no! What now? sighed Mr. Little. He looked under the flap and found a large green caterpillar chewing the canvas. Oh dear! Don't want that to happen, huh? He'll have to remove the caterpillar from his plane. A plink, plonk, plink, plonk sound came from inside the fuselage. I'll bet that's another mouse, said Mr. Little. As he climbed over the tail plane to lift the inspection hatch. Okay, let's see what's under there. No, it isn't, sang a bush baby, playing a tune on the control cables. Oh dear, he doesn't belong in there, does he? No, there's the caterpillar and the other mouse and the, and the mouse. They're now not inside the plane. Crackling and chattering noises came from inside the cockpit. Must be traffic control on the radio, said Mr. Little as he took off the cockpit cover. Okay, let's see what's in the cockpit cover. Clear for takeoff, clear for takeoff, squawked a pink cockatoo. <laughs> well, that's not traffic control on the radio, is it? No, it's a bird talking. That's funny. Parrots like to repeat things that, things that they've heard often. I'll never get off the ground at this rate, moaned Mr. Little, when he heard a swishing sound coming from the rear of the plane. Oh dear, let's see what we've got. Here's the mouse. And there's the parrot on his head. There's the caterpillar, the other animal. Okay, let's see what's the rear of the plane. It's only me, giggled the monkey swinging on the rudder. <laughs> Monkeys don't belong on planes, do they? That's funny. Well, plane number six, please hurry up and get ready for takeoff, said a voice over the loudspeaker. Keep your wings on, shouted Mr. Little, as he heard a buzzing sound coming from under the plane. Oh no! What now? He'd gotten all the other animals out of their spots. What's under the plane? He lifted the right elevator and out flew a swarm of bees. Oh dear, they certainly don't belong there. Eek, I'm off 
yelled Mr. Little, jumping into the cockpit. The mouse, let's see, where's the mouse? There's the mouse. The caterpillar, the bush baby, the cockatoo, and the monkey all hung on as the plane raced down the runway. Looks like the bees are chasing them, doesn't it? Oh dear. And with a tap, a rip, a tear, a plink plonk, a crackle, a chatter, a swish, a buzz, and a very loud hooray! Mr. Little's noisy plane looped the loop. <laughs> He's flying upside down, isn't he? Oh, that's funny. He likes to do tricks. Looks like he's at an air show with the crowd and all the other planes. And he likes to do tricks at the air show. <laughs> well, that's fun, isn't it? I hope you enjoyed Mr. Little's Noisy Plane. Bye for now.